700 people quickly snatched up all the tickets to James Comey's speaking event at Seattle University. The former FBI director, who was fired by President Trump, is on a nationwide tour promoting his new book, A Higher Loyalty, Truth, Lies, and Leadership. In it, he compares the president to a mob boss and blasts Trump for being untethered to the truth. The publishers of Comey's book wouldn't allow us into the event. It's closed to the news media, so we have to wait out here until it's over to find out what they talked about. An hour and a half after the event started, the crowd streamed out of the auditorium. Seeing him and watching his body language and the way he speaks uh, in person is what I was coming for and what I, I wanted to basically see if he passed the sniff test. It was fascinating to kind of hear you know, the unabridged version of, you know, not 140 character tweets uh, of how James Comey kind of thought about, you know, basically everything that's happened in the last year. Questions were submitted on cards and attendees say there were some vague references to Comey reopening the investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails days before the election, infuriating many Democrats. He kind of tried to use comedy to sort of brush off the, oh, gee, I, you know, the, I, I stay up nights and I have nightmares about Hillary Clinton's investigation, but uh, I feel like if I had to do it over again with the information I had, I'd do it again. Everybody kind of laughed it off. And it was a little bit more of a softball answer. The Republican National Committee just launched a new website called LionComey.com, meant to discredit the former FBI director, calling him a partisan political leaker. The campaign said it plans to follow Comey on his book tour with someone in a lion costume, trying to call attention to their cause. No sign of the lion in Seattle, though one woman, an independent activist, tried to tape up signs criticizing Comey. I think what I learned was that he, he really is a person of integrity. It, it comes through when you see him. From here, Comey heads to Amazon headquarters. He'll talk to employees there on Monday morning, part of an ongoing lecture series. Amazon, of course, another target of President Trump, so there will likely be a lot to talk about. At Seattle U, Ted Land, King 5 News.